So it's not just Jack Dorsey looking to Africa for the next big opportunity in tech. Our Kate Rooney explains this from San Francisco. And Kate, the key here is fintech and payments and the opportunity. That's right, exactly, Deirdre. So the Square and Twitter CEO is in good company. Big tech and venture capital are also spending time and money in Africa. One reason, a young and booming population. Across 54 countries, there are more than a billion people in Africa, average age 19. Analysts telling me that's a natural market for any tech entrepreneur. Global tech giants are paying attention. You've got Facebook and Google with accelerator programs for local startups. Microsoft has spent $100 million on similar programs, and all of those CEOs have made public visits to African countries in the past four years. It's also Chinese tech. Alibaba has a startup accelerator there and gained traction with Alipay. Same thing with Tencent and WeChat. Meanwhile, venture capital is starting to pay more attention, partially thanks to lower valuations. There are still only two of the world's 400 unicorns based in Africa. We're seeing some popular early stage bets around payments in Nigeria. Lagos-based company Flutterwave is one. It works with Uber and Alipay and is backed by Salesforce Ventures, MasterCard as well. And another, Shaka Watch, is backed by Briar Capital and Microsoft. And finally, the risk factor, guys. They say government regulation and scaling across the continent are the biggest headwinds. Guys? All right, thank you, Kate. I hope they invest in local talent and don't sort of digitally uh, colonize Africa. Yeah. We see some companies doing that, not a fan of that.